Hi everybody, welcome to Cozy Nook Library. This is Reading Nook. I am Radhika Sathe, one of the three librarians. And uh, today I want to share with you um, some books that are comforting and that are um, that give when we read with our children that give them a sense of warmth and security because seriously right now um, our children are really going through a tough time um, I think they don't know uh, what's happening they, but they can feel the vibes they can feel the anxiety uh, they can uh, they know something's not right they don't quite know how to deal with it and I think the best way as parents as adults in a child's life uh, the best way to help them deal with things, to help uh, them feel secure um, is to be read with them and to them. And there's nothing, it doesn't matter how old your child is, there's nothing like sitting with your child with a you know, nice, cozy, comfy place and read um, picture books, especially picture books. So uh, please indulge me as I, you know, my most favorite genre of books are the picture books. So um, I want to start with this book called The Butterfly Smile. Um, it's a it's a level three book from Pratham. It is written by Matangi Subramanian, illustrated by Lavanya Naidu. And this book is about a little girl called Kavya who uh, comes to Bangalore um, because her parents uh, need to find a job and so she is a migrant and um, she is shy but very very smart and she goes on a school trip and goes to a park where there are lots of bu uh, butterflies. And um, you know she is able to answer a lot of questions, feel confident, make a friend etc. And the through this really short book, um, the author Matangi has managed to draw parallels between migration of butterflies and migration of people, the whole um, and it's a very uh, topical thing right now. It's a beautiful book, ends very nicely and um, every child that we have read this book to uh, has loved it. So this is uh, A Butterfly Smile. Uh, by Matangi Subramanian from uh, Pratham. It's a level 3 book. And uh, please, please uh, look for books like this, support Indian authors. Um, another book which I, my children loved, children at the library loved, is uh, The Paper Crane. It's written by Molly Bank. And Molly Bank, of course, has won multiple Caldecott Awards for her absolutely beautiful illustrations. This book is, of course, a, a sort of a modern take on a old ancient Japanese uh, folk tale about the paper crane. So it's about, uh, it talks about goodness and how your good deed gets rewarded uh, in amazing ways. It's a beautiful book, very nicely um, illustrated. Uh, I love the illustrations because it's it's collage, it's painting, uh, it's a lot of different things. This book, of course, uh, is a classic and uh, a must read. So it's Paper Crane by Molly Bang. Another book that uh, I have loved reading with my children uh, and kids at the library have loved is uh, of course The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats and uh, it's a Caldecott award winning book and it was rated one of the I think the 10 best picture books of the last century. So uh, this book is just brilliant, it's about this little boy um, who wakes up one day He's living, he lives in a big city, there's a lot of snow and um, when you think about it, there's not much about the story but then there's a lot. As you read, as you go along uh, and as you reread, um, it's, it's just a beautiful book and of course again, the illustrations, any page, the illustrations are beautiful and uh, a gorgeous book. So the snowy day again these are books that you know uh, your children will remember even when they are older to have read and it gives them this you know nice feeling. I have teenage boys and they still think of these books as their childhood favorites. So make those memories. Um, another book which uh, you know right now our children can do with is cloudy with a chance of meatballs and no the book wasn't isn't written based on the movie. Uh, the movie quite badly was made based on the book. The book is wonderful. It is written uh, by Judy Barrett and illustrated by Ron Barrett. And uh, it is an award winning again. It won, a, it won I think the New York Times best illustrated children's uh, illustrated book 
uh, award and um, again it's about these two children um, who are bored and so the grandfather tells them a tall tale about a city where a town where uh, you know instead of rain and thunder and and snow it rains food and uh, there are lessons to be learnt in this book but but it's just funny and it is a lot of uh, a lot of laughs and the illustrations are just i mean i have to show you this oh look at this the town so the illustrations are beautiful and this is a book where you know kids roll with laughter it, they just love it so uh, cloudy with a chance of meatballs uh, written by judy barrett illustrated by ron barrett and uh, gosh there's so many books i can't okay here's uh, where's home daddy bear was another book that uh, my children loved and kids at the library love reading um, cozy comfy happy book stella luna of course by uh, janelle cannon and um, this is again a favorite a favorite um there are some books that are obvious uh, uh, picks but blueberries for sale and this is a book that is uh, you know a mommy bear a baby bear a mom a child blueberries just lovely again this is a caldecott award winning book so beautiful illustrations and this book was written in 1948 and it has been a best seller ever since so um, look out for this book and my most favorite and my children's most favorite and a book that a lot of moms at the library love to take for their children is good night moon uh, by margaret wise brown and um, i don't think there is a better lullaby in the form of a book than this book so uh, make those memories guys and you know let our children feel uh, secure and happy through books so um this was our reading nook for this week and we will meet you again next week with something else exciting fun um till then keep reading bye